Welcome back. All right, so today's career video, I want to talk about John Tonelli. John Tonelli, a part of the last team that won three straight Stanley Cups, the New York Islanders. Uh, he was a number 33 pick of the New York Islanders in 1977. The interesting thing is, he had already been playing in Houston. And he fought to get his way to Houston to the point where he actually sat out of OHL games because he wanted to go to Houston. Uh, it was ruled, though, that he had signed a contract before the age of 18 and without his parents' consent so that that contract was null and void. But he would play for, for Houston in 75-76. Uh, the Houston Arrows, the 79 games played, 17 goals, 14 assists, 31 points. In the playoffs, 17 games, 7 goals, 7 assists, 14 points. So a nice long playoff run. Things going well for him in Houston. Playing with this guy, Gordy Howe, you might have heard of him. 76-77, again with the Houston Arrows of the WHA. 80 games played, 24 goals, 31 assists, 55 points. In the playoffs, 11 games, 3 goals, 4 assists, 7 points. So, this is where the New York Islanders take notice, and they draft him 33rd overall that year. 77-78 <clears throat> is third and final year with Houston. 65 games, 23 goals, 41 assists, 64 points. So, you can see his offense getting better each season. In the playoffs, he had a goal and three assists, four points in six games, and then Houston folded. So the New York Islanders, they bring him in. They hold his rights. So he goes to the New York Islanders, and in 78-79, with three years of prior experience in professional hockey, it's a pretty seamless transition. Uh, 73 games, 17 goals, 39 assists, 56 points that first year with the Islanders. 10 games played in the playoffs, and a goal and 6 assists for 7 points. 79-80, what would be a huge year for the New York Islanders, especially after what was seen as a disappointment in the 1979 playoffs. Uh, 77 games in the regular season, 14 goals, 30 assists, 44 points. So, the offense actually kind of drops off in year 2 for him with the Islanders, but in the playoffs, it picks up big time. 21 games played, 7 goals, 9 assists for 16 points for Tonelli. And this was the first year that the New York Islanders win the Stanley Cup. He did have an assist on Bob Nystrom's famous uh, game winner. Uh, the Cup winning goal, uh, he assisted on that. So, pretty big moment. And John Tonelli was known for clutch goals, clutch assists. If you needed a big play, Tonelli was the guy. 80-81, his offense comes back a little bit. 70 games, 20 goals, 32 assists. 52 points in the playoffs. Again, he raises his game. 16 games, 5 goals, 8 assists, 13 points as the Islanders win their second straight Stanley Cup. They beat the Minnesota North Stars that year in the Stanley Cup final. 82, um, the 81-82 season, I should say. 80 games played, 35 goals, 58 assists, 93 points. Huge offensive season for John Tonelli in the playoffs. 19 games, 6 goals, 10 assists, 16 points. And a Stanley Cup with the victory over the Canucks in the final. Uh, he also went to the All-Star Game for the one time uh, in his career to that point. Uh, he would play in the All-Star Game one more time after that. He's a second team All-Star as well. And he was 5th in Selkie voting. So, not too shabby for a winger to be 5th in Selkie voting. 82-83, plays 76 games. His offense drops back a little bit, but he still has 30 goals. 31 goals. 40 assists, 71 points in the playoffs. 20 games played, 7 goals, 11 assists, 18 points. So his points per game in the playoffs are excellent. That's a fourth straight Stanley Cup. The Islanders are, are absolutely a bandwagon at this point. 83-84, it, it really continues. 73 games, 27 goals, 40 assists, 67 points for him. Uh, in the playoffs, 17 games played, a goal, 3 assists, 4 points. So his offense drops quite a bit that year in the playoffs and the Islanders lose in the Stanley Cup final against the Edmonton Oilers who were starting their own dynasty that year. But you look at the number of games played over those four years. You have uh, 21, 16, 19, 20, and then 17 in that fifth year. It's a lot of hockey. You've basically added another season to these guys and... You could see it kind of breaking down for a lot of members of the Islanders. However, the interesting thing is, John Tonelli's best season was 84-85. 80 games played, 42 goals, 58 assists, 100 points. And again, you know, it's it's kind of, it's one of those career years out of nowhere. Uh, in the playoffs, 10 games, 1 goal, 8 assists uh, for 9 points. 
He plays in the All-Star game. He was a second-team All-Star, and he was third in Selkie voting. So huge year, great year, but Tonelli wasn't happy. He wasn't happy with his contract. He was making $200,000 a year, uh, felt he should have got more. He held out for 23 days. He held out for 23 days before he reported to the Islanders, and he was the first New York Islander to hold out. He played 65 games in 85-86 with the Islanders, but the damage has been done to his relationship with the team. 20 goals, 41 assists, 61 points. And then what would have been unthinkable two years earlier, the New York Islanders trade John Tonelli. He's traded to the Calgary Flames for Steve Conroy and Richard Crom. Uh, Conroy, good defenseman, Crom, depth guy. And that doesn't feel like it's enough for John Tonelli. But he goes to Calgary 85-86, plays nine games after the trade. Three goals, four assists, seven points with the Flames. And then he leads them to their first Stanley Cup final. 22 games, seven goals, nine assists, 16 points. So the scoring is back in the playoffs. And he really honestly had a, a great run with the Calgary Flames there. And his first full year with Calgary, 78 games, 20 goals, 31 assists, 51 points. Plays three playoff games, no points there. So... The offense drops off that first full season in Calgary. He's he's down to half of that 100 points, right? But he's still a useful veteran guy. 87-88, 74 games, 17 goals, 41 assists, 58 points. But at this stage, Calgary's starting to sour on him. So he plays six playoff games, two goals, five assists, seven points. They benched him at points during those playoffs. And they offered him a contract. They offered him basically what would have been a retirement contract for him. He decides he can keep going. He decides he's going to play some more, and he decides to sign with the LA Kings. He signs with the LA Kings shortly before they acquire Wayne Gretzky. And so he would play at times on a line with Wayne Gretzky. He had been in a dynasty with the Islanders. He had played on a line with Gordie Howe at points with the Houston Arrows. A pretty good career there for John Tonelli. Uh, 77 games played that first year with the Kings. 31 goals, 33 assists, 64 points. So, for fans who might have thought that Tonelli, after that 17-goal season in Calgary, that, well, he's basically done. He's not. Uh, that, that 31 goals informs the NHL he's not done. Definitely helps playing on the same team as Gretzky. And, of course, big year that year for Bernie Nichols as well. In the playoffs, though, no points in six games. Uh, and so when he was signed as a free agent, I think he gave L.A. more than they expected for him. 89-90, uh, the goal scoring stays the same. In 73 games, 31 goals, 37 assists, 68 points. So he's almost point per game. But in the playoffs, the scoring drops off a bit. 10 games, 1 goal, 2 assists, 3 points. 90-91, uh, this is where the scoring really drops off. And the L.A. Kings, uh, they, they did not have an interest in bringing him back after that year. 71 games played that year, 14 goals, 16 assists, 30 points in 12 playoff games, 2 goals, 4 assists, and 6 points for John Tonelli. So, that season done, the LA Kings deciding to move on. June 30th of 1991, he signs as a free agent with the Chicago Blackhawks. The Chicago Blackhawks, an up-and-coming team, young guys like Roenick, uh, Chelios, Belfour, and so he plays 33 games with Chicago, but the offense is gone. Um, his speed has dropped off, and with a player like Tonelli, he played a, a, a tough, good defensive style of game. Uh, there were criticisms. Uh, there's one from John Davidson about him being kind of lazy coming back to back check. So, with a goal and seven assists and eight points in 33 games, and if he's not making that same effort, if he can't skate as well as he did, he kind of becomes that liability. So, the Quebec Nordiques acquired him on February 18th of 1992 for future considerations. The Nordiques, nowhere near a playoff team in 92. He plays 19 games with Quebec, two goals, four assists, and six points. And he would retire after that as well. So very good career for him. He is the only player to score a regular season goal assisted by Gordy Howe and to score a regular season goal assisted by Wayne Gretzky. So he's the only player who ever had that. I'm going to go ahead and make this a THG Hall of Fame induction as well because Tonelli, if he was going to get into the Hall of Fame, he would have gone in already. Uh, he plays 224 games in the WHA, 64 goals, 86 assists, 150 points. In the playoffs, 34 games, 11 goals, 14 assists, 25 points. I've always thought it's odd 
that the NHL doesn't view WHA stats as pro hockey stats in line with the NHL. Um, there are a lot of players who scored a ton of points for the WHA, and so once they reached the NHL, it was treated like that never happened. Uh, in the NHL, he had 1,028 games played. So as a professional, he played over 1,250 games. Uh, 325 goals, 511 assists, 836 points. So if you combine the WHA and NHL totals, he almost reaches 1,000 points in total. He almost gets to 400 goals as well, a little over 600 assists. In the playoffs, uh, in the WHA, 35 games, 11 goals, 14 assists, 25 points. In the National Hockey League, 172 games played. 40 goals, 75 assists, 115 points. So there you go. The career of John Tonelli. And again, with the Stanley Cup final being on, I think it's fun to look at guys who had career years and, and to look at guys who had a bunch of Stanley Cups. And for Tonelli, those career years would have been 81, 82, 84, 85. Those numbers are out of line with most of the rest of his career. But he was a solid player. Uh, he played on various lines with the New York Islanders. He played on a line with Bob Nystrom and Wayne Merrick. He also played on the top line with Trotche and, and Bossy. He was very useful wherever you wanted to put him in the lineup. And he would prove that with Calgary helping them get to the final in 86. And then he showed with the Kings he wasn't done yet. So there you go. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.